Hi there, this is Emily Carrero, naturalist at Northwest Park, coming to you from my house um, during these crazy times and bringing you a fun little wildlife story. So, over the weekend, I was called to a duck rescue. Now, first, I got this really grainy footage of well, I think they're ducks. Do you think they're ducks? They look like ducks. There's a mom, there's some blurry babies, but I wasn't really sure what was going on. And then my phone rang. And it turns out that these ducklings had wandered into this yard and the mother had caught up with them and couldn't get them out of the yard. So, being intelligent people, the homeowners called their local naturalist and I came out to see what I could do about these ducklings. So, here they are. We scooped them up. The mom was up in a tree nearby having been spooked a bit. So we scooped them all up, put them in a dog crate. They're quite young, probably just a couple of days old and we proceeded to carry them around the neighborhood to the back where there was a wetland, which is where we're pretty sure these guys came from. So 13 ducklings later, they took off into this marshy area headed for that wetter spot way in the back of the photo. And that could have been the end of the story. But when I got back home and shared the photos with one of my colleagues, she noticed something that I hadn't. These ducklings are not your average mallard duck that you see at the city park, around a pond. These are special ducks. And that's why they were living in that woodland habitat. These are wood ducks. They're pretty rare to see in a neighborhood and they're absolutely gorgeous. They came very close to extinction when people were hunting them for feathers a while ago, but they're now protected and people build nest boxes and all sorts of things to help them out. So once I was sure that they were wood ducks, I decided I wanted to go back and see if I could find their habitat. Now, these guys like to live out in those marshy swamps in a pond in the middle of the woods, thus the name wood duck. So I was getting ready for an adventure. So I put on my working boots and I headed out and I very quickly found some familiar friends. I grew up in a marshy area and I love marsh hopping, going from clump of skunk cabbage, which you see on the left there, don't rip that leaf, it smells terrible um to mossy clump and this is marsh marigold it's a really early bright spring flower that encourages us that spring really is coming and jack in the pulpit which has a cute little surprise under that curled leaf and of course i adore frogs anyone who's been to the park to visit has known i adore frogs and i found this very special frog this like the wood duck is a wood frog. He has that dark mask over his eyes and he actually quacks like a duck, which is pretty crazy. There was evidence of deer, lots of deer tracks through the mud, but I didn't see the nest. Now here's the thing with wood ducks, and this is partly why I was so excited to go out and see if I could find it. I wasn't looking for a bunch of leaves and branches on the ground. Wood ducks are cavity nesters. They love nesting in a hole in an older tree, maybe a broken tree, or where a branch has come off and left a space. And they will nest a couple feet up from the water, 10 feet up from the water, even 30 feet up from the water. And the craziest part, I think, about wood ducks is they all hatch pretty much on the same day. And once they dry off and fluff out a bit, the mother duck 
will fly out of the nest cavity into the water below and call to her ducklings. And then, one by one, they will leap from the nest. Remember, up to 30 feet high, down into that water. Now, they obviously can't fly, but because they're so light, the impact doesn't hurt them. So they, they make a very brave leap. There's even a storybook for kids about it. Jump little wood ducks. Look at that guy. So back to our adventure. The deeper I got into the woods and the less marshy it became, there were more deeper pools, which made me a little more confident about those jumping ducks. And there were lots of old trees on the edge of the water or in the water and a lot of them had holes in them. This one was definitely an option, but way above my head, and I couldn't climb that thing. So I'm pretty sure I found the nest. I just don't know which hole it was. This is a great habitat for these ducks, and we were really excited to find out that they're living here so close to a neighborhood and pretty undisturbed. So hopefully, these munchkins made it back to their mama they were certainly calling for her as they headed through the marsh and towards their pondy home. I hope you enjoy our wood duck moment and you guys stay healthy and safe out there. Bye bye for now.